So here now, uh, it was very interesting, this, uh, Dr. Gokul was telling. So we'll go like this, so we'll have a short, uh, th uh, yeah, so whatever he, uh, he has expressed, whatever sir, you want to add or agree or don't agree, maybe 60 to 90 seconds you can tell from here, here itself, I'll give you the mic to you, 60, then Ayurvedic, then uh, homeopathic, then naturopathy. Then we like to have more on the panel discussion. Right, thank you sir. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I just want to. Uh, I'm, I'm representing a stream like Ayurveda, which is a very age old tradition of uh, total health. So, Sir has told you half an hour exercise for five days a week. 5,000 years back, Ayurveda told about such activities, the limitations of activity, physical activity, like when you start walking or working as a Vyayama, what we call it as a Vyayama exercise. So you, are, you should have droplets on your forehead and your axilla should be completely wet. And you should not have any sort of discomfort in breathing. These three factors they have mentioned as a parameter by that time. Those parameters stands good even today. And the quantity is started about 25% of food. We have a concept like Trivida Kukshi. So whatever you assess, uh, assume that is your capacity for consuming the food, it has been divided into three parts. Stomach is divided into three parts. One part should be consumed as a solid food. One part can be a liquid diet and one part should be left for the digestive juices arising because of the digest digestive mechanism and for the proper propulsion of intestines further for the digestion, assimilation, excretion, utilization and excretion like this. So this is one area I would like to say. And Ayurveda has looked about heart health as a whole. As you know, health cannot be gifted by anybody. Everybody has to earn it every second, not every minute. Every second we need to earn it. So it cannot be gifted. We can give you hundreds of suggestions unless you put your heart and soul into that strictly. Otherwise, uh, nobody, no, no use of uh, taking uh, any, anything. Likewise, how to reduce the quantities. Uh, Sir has asked us to reduce certain things. We have added a new protocols in our department. We, we, I, I work for Kaya Chikitsa. Kaya Chikitsa is a synonymous department for internal medicine in the modern science, general medicine like. So if, uh, usually people come to us asking for reduce my weight. They'll be having different dimensions, all other things. They will have all the investigative lots, they come for us and simply ask us to give a medication. I know that Ayurveda can uh, reduce this, so how can you do that? So as Sar rightly pointed out, you ask them to stop the food, reduce the food and do the exercise, nobody will come forward. They start changing, they stop changing the consulting centers, they don't do that. So we have developed a new technique that adding, we don't ask them to stop anything. We don't ask them to go for a walk in the first phase, first 15 days. We have meticulously followed a typical program where patient automatically comes into the control of the doctor. Like they, they say every day I consume non -vis. very good. Every day I consume paneer, very good. You take whatever you are consuming so far, add one cut of one bowl of large cut sized vegetables for that, pure vegetables, not fruits, large sized pieces to the quantity what you are taking. So don't leave a, a, even a single piece of vegetable, but you can consume all your paneer or non veg from the other dish. So this is a simple suggestion. We educate them to go for that because the bigger pieces make them to churn more, chew more, so that they cannot consume much. Second thing, all the vegetables are high in alcoholic, uh, alkaline media. So the digestive phases, next diet will be controlled by this diet, this suggestion. So if they practice it for 15 days, automatically their food quantities, what they are consuming, is cut shorted without any sort of pressure or other other areas. Like that we have innovated many things to educate about their sleep habits, activity and food. Not only this, health as I told you, we, we need to spend what, uh, thinking that having a insurance, insurance is a very good idea that everyone should have, I support that. At, if I have insurance for 50 lakhs, that doesn't mean that I can eat anything and I can go for 
Apollo for uh, Gokhale sir or uh, XYZ for the consideration. That should not be the take home message. Because insurance is for the unseen projects, unseen problems. But we have multiple areas where we are seeing to that. And we can just check our body every day that if your waist size is increasing more than 100 for the adults, then you, you are more susceptible for diabetes or obesity or cardiac problems. So your shirt size is going beyond 42, then you need to be more careful. So these are the simple parameters. These are very simple parameters where we can check into and uh, how to identify the health. As uh, Sir asked, how many of you are healthy? Yes, this is a very good uh, area. And WHO definition cannot give us a live example that I can say, I cannot say that I'm healthy because physically I look very good, but still my health may be hampered. Ayurveda has given a set of rules like if I get up in the morning without tiredness and I find enthusiastic mind to carry out my day and if I'm feeling all my urges attended without any struggle like urination and other things then if I start my day with that uh, happy mood yes I'm healthy so these are the simple parameters but workable parameters Ayurveda contributes like this and this is the time tested and time trusted area I would like to go for more uh, panel discussion than giving from one way thank you for giving me the opportunity FTCCI <laughs> Dr. Shrikanji, very good inputs from you. And uh, now we go for the homeopathic. Dr. Rajeshwar Asad would like to add something. Uh, how much time will it take? How much time will it take? Okay. Uh, and in panel discussion, here if you like to add something, add or something, you that will be appreciated. Uh, yeah, here, maybe one to two minutes, whatever, because hard as such is explained. No, not again. So, homeopathy okay. aspects. Okay. In general, homeo and some cardiac aspects. Right. Okay, Doctor. Okay, in panel discussion, okay, we can do this. Yeah? Okay, 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 please, please do it. Right, right please, please. PPT. PPT, right. 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 Good evening all, uh, just, uh, this is a brief introduction of homeopathy and in, and in related to cardiac disease. So, this, this is a very old medicine discovered by German doctor, Dr. Christian Friedrich Hahnemann in 1796. And, so he was actually he was an allopathic doctor and uh, at that uh, two centuries back, the, the allopathy was very not developed. And it is very crude form like uh, leeches, using leeches and uh, the concepts, pathology is also not well developed. So he is vexed and he stopped his practice and he started translating the medical books. In that he discovered that the what it, the synchona, about synchona. Synchona is able to cure the uh, that malaria fever. So how it is curing, he got uh, curiosity and he experimented to take that medicine internally and it is started to produce the symptoms of malaria. So he discovered the principle that the substance which can capable of producing the symptoms is capable of curing. That is the main principle in homeopathy and this all the homeopathy medicines are proved in healthy human beings. So we take the symptoms and uh, so the, the symptoms which are indicating the disease we are giving. So that's why they are have no side effects because they are all well experimented and especially we take mental aspect. All mental symptoms as a constitution as a personality we take those symptoms into consideration apart from, along with the disease. So as a person, disease as per modern disease diagnosis is one aspect along with that we take it personality into consideration. Then we take it as a constitutional treatment. That is called holistic aspect. That's why we are able to cure the diseases and they are not only free from the physical disease, they are having mental well-being well after treatment from the homeopathic medicines. So that is the greatest uh, thing. 
and so and these are so very they are cost effective and they are not having any side effects and easy to administer like it, they are very palatable they can easily administer to even infants neonates and uh, and it is they, they are giving long lasting cure or long lasting results and with, without any side effects that is the importance of the homeopathy directly when the patients are coming from to us and in some cases what we observed is an integrated approach like suppose I am having one patient he had undergone the cardiac surgery 10 to 15 years back and he developed a hypertension which is not controlled by allopathic medicine even he went to 3 4 cardiologists but is still very high 160 170 systolic and 120 like that diastolic but when we started our medicine it is be completely normal. We are not stopped with the allopathic medicine because there is a high risk. Whenever, whenever it shoots, we don't know. So, like that, sometimes when we combine the medicines, it, they are having synergetic effect and they, they are giving very good results. So, I am having follow up from four years, it's still completely non controlled. And like that, I am especially I deal with psychiatric problems. And they, from the psych psychiatrist from the mental hospital, they refer to me. Because after seeing the results, like schizophrenia, where, where which are resistant, even after electroconvulsive therapy, four to five treatments after they are not getting well. So they refer to me and they are, we are getting very good results. We, suddenly we won't stop the medicine. We again we send them back to for assessment. So that is an integrative approach. And they also send to me humanistic basis. Because the patient should be benefited, not egoism. So, the psychiatric, we have a very good role because uh, the depression and anxiety, the other factors also contributing to many diseases, not only cardiac diseases, but many diseases. We are able to treat successfully in, in many cases. So, that is, we are helping. And the risk factors which are contributing like hypertension, diabetes, obesity. In the initial stages, we are able to help the patients by giving constitutional medicines. So, wherever, the, suppose the, maybe surgery they need if they are definitely needed. But if some aged people, they are, they are not suitable for surgery and they have to use some medicines only. In those cases, if we can approach the integrated approach or directly, we can give very good results. And in the before developing full disease like diagnostic criteria, we should fit only minor symptoms like just breathlessness, slight breathlessness, or anything like uh, arrhythmia, like means occasional palpitations, like that. We can if we can treat early. They are able, we are able to prevent them, and but still lot of research should be done along with the other specialists like allopathic doctors. Then we can give very good results. Still, but we are having very many medicines, but uh, not many studies were there. But we are definitely helpful because our science is holistic aspect. Okay, thank you for giving me the opportunity. We will discuss. Uh, thank you. Dr. Rajeshwara Guru, uh, your integrated approach is the thing what uh, all of us were looking to, and uh, uh, all pathies they can play very important role. Uh, now, Madam, from the natural pathy point of view, maybe it's uh, 60 to 120 seconds. You can whatever you would like to tell. Then we'll have an interesting panel discussion. Again, you can. Yeah, Good evening, everybody. 
and i am very uh, like uh, it's my best opportunity which shekha sir has given me to be with uh, dr gokhale sir and however we have learned more uh, in prevention aspect and also in treatment aspects uh, as such uh, naturopathy like it's an ayush system of medicine or indian system of medicine so ayush always talks about uh, wellness and uh, health so we were uh, uh, taught in our schools like medical uh, things how to be healthy how to be healthy how to be healthy that's what we have inculcated in our brains and we t we started being healthy and uh, personally i made a motto that i should be non diabetic and non hypertensive and now i am 60 i am still uh, uh, non diabetic and non hypertensive so that is how we so it's a naturopathy is a practicing medicine naturopathy is practicing medicine so here we in general we say health is always there but the other side of the coin disease is always there because it's nature and then uh, in general ignorance innocence and indulgence these three factors which made make us to be unhealthy and then according to science as we dasar has told and uh, we were uh, taught in our school of uh, naturopathy inflammation infection and lowered immunity will lead to any health disorders okay and our body is an integration of all organs like uh, how we are having integration of medical system so first we should understand it is an integration of all organs and most of the valuable things are precious things will come in a small packages like human beings like we get diamond in small box so god uh, our nature has designed our body as a human being and it is very valuable very precious as sir was saying and we should take care of our health our body and mind everything like mind body soul we call it so that triangle we have to maintain that is what the basic uh, fundamentals uh, uh, where we uh, we are taught with and then there are five principles uh, to keep not only the cardiac uh, this one uh, according to naturopathy we have to take two times solid meals or cooked meals that to after sunrise and then before sunset then no problem of any acidity or anything which leads to heart or any other diseases so ekabuktam uh, there is a shloka in ayurveda also ekabuktam maha yogi dvibuktam maha rogi rogi uh, tribuktam maha bhogi so <laughs> four times no answer so so 8 to 10 glasses of water 8 to 8 to 10 glasses of water per day and then half an hour exercise any activity household activity also uh, like washing our clothes and everything is included it's not only going to gym or going to like all the activities we have to do by our hand and possibly we have to and then we we can prevent uh, this cardiac uh, things or any disease of our body and then uh, uh, pranayama pranayama or meditation or yoga nidra or savasana all these come under making our mind very calm and to understand in what status we are at present so as sir told being in present is more important and then fasting once in a week that is the most intermittent fasting we say uh, fasting once in a week if at all we are unable to fast if I, if yes even sugar patients can fast we, uh, there is uh, medical uh, conditions and then we will also guide everybody to how to fast okay sir fasting once in a week or intermittent fasting or being on simple fruit diet or being on simple raw diet our liquid diet and then uh, the day when we are fasting better to be at home and then take rest 
and then all these uh, are our principles uh, to prevent disease it's not only the cardiac it's it's a fundamental to prevent any disease okay sir and then as a naturopath we individually personalizing lifestyle and then environmental factors we counsel the per person and then uh, we will advise because everybody is biochemical individuality is there each individual is different in our her own way of having a designed body so we we talk to them biochemical individuality we will understand what what type of body or uh, what type of uh, nature it is and then we will accordingly we will uh, mm, uh, give all the advices sir and then fundamental organizing systems and core core clinical imbalances to where to look into the person so first we should uh, take assimilation how far they are able to assimilate the food or whatever things and then defense and repair so how far they are able to prevent the, like uh, covid uh, most of them didn't get covid what is the answer for that so in that way uh, defense and repair if at all we get any disease how far how fast we are able to get it uh, recovered or repair and then how uh, energy levels how we are able to uh, do our work and then uh, our digestive system or any energy levels of our body and then elimination and bio transformation so elimination is the most important uh, thing where we have to focus so and then bio transformation and then transport the nutrients how they are transport as such heart transports all the nutrients and hormones and everything and oxygenated blood so we have to understand how the body is uh, like individual's body is whether it is able to take or not it's called facial diagnosis actually there is a uh, subject where we have uh, so just by seeing a person's personality or body dynamics and everything we can say whether he, he is prone to get that disease or not so it's facial diagnosis what we say and then uh, structural integrity what that is what we have to make them to understand so there there is lot of uh, uh, things where we have to make an individual to understand the system of health it's not the system of disease let us uh, uh, let us make the individual to forget about the disease and uh, uh, let us uh, make the individual to understand what is health so normal physiology what we read sir that that is more uh, impact that that impacts we have to educate whether uh, whether in a scientific way or in a layman's way but we have to educate the individual in such way and then personalizing the lifestyles and then according to his environmental things we will educate and uh, we will uh, uh, and then we have follow up also uh, follow up also so that we can prevent it's not only the cardiac all the disease factors we can prevent sir that is what the basic fundamentals of naturopathy and uh, our institute is there in, in amirpet uh, this one and we give m many services and we have treatments also individually for heart treatment uh, everything so there are water treatments are there where we give hot chest packs, uh, then uh, hot food baths, hot compressions, cold compressions to spine, fermentation to spine, and then uh, massages also will be there, few massages will be there, and then tub baths will be there. So all these are the, in, in, like in total, it's a system of health. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much. But um, see, the naturopathy is the best as far as we are able to do it. And uh, the doc time, time doctor I met him, he said uh, three rules for health. So three P's are there. So first he said prevention. Second he said prevention. Third is prevention. So beautiful concept because he says if four crore citizens of uh, Telangana fall sick at the same time, the, uh, no infrastructure can treat. So now uh, 
uh, very interesting from uh, uh, Ayurved, naturopath and homeopath point of view. Now, uh, see, there are two purposes, benefit to all of us. Secondly, we like to have integrated approach for a long term for the citizens and then uh, Hyderabad then Telangana then India and the world. So over to again uh, Dr. Gokhale, Gokhaleji so that because uh, you have to drive this mission forward and uh, you can ask any question to uh, uh, for homeopathy, naturopathy and uh, Ayurved. It's very interesting to see so many similarities actually among these things, you know, about, but the only thing is the way how you look at it, how you present to the patient. Yeah. For example, you say when we say take less food, that may not be palatable to most people, but then we say divide stomach into three parts and then take a, keep one part empty and end up for the two parts of the water and solid food, eat whatever you want. So some people would like it that way. And when you say, you fast for one day, eat six days a week, whatever you want, but at least one day a week fasting. But the most important thing I liked in what Madam said is, that day you stay at home. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I would practice natura naturopathy from tomorrow. If my wife or children come and blame you, please uh, don't tell me about me. Okay, you have to accept the ownership. But uh, you see, it's good. Different ways, because we are a... People, each one is unique. Each human being is unique. And uh, you can't talk the same way to two people and then you expect them to do it, each one. So it's really nice to know all these things. But one thing for sure is all these other pathies other than allopathy are much cheaper than allopathy. There is no controversy that far. And I have seen some wonders with other things, you know. I had a patient when I started my practice in global, we did open heart surgeries. There was a student pastor from Kerala. He was studying somewhere uh, in Kammam or somewhere. And then he had a hole in the heart. And uh, that was a gastrointestinal surgery hospital where he started cardiac surgery in the same theater. And the one patient had an infection in the heart. And he had, a, after, closing the, after doing the surgery, or the patch we put in. And we tried all the antibiotics. They went to care, Dr. Somarazu, Pirin, all those people went here and there. <clears throat> Ultimately, that fellow went to care hospital and he's getting treated, he's not getting better, and he didn't hear from the patient for a while. I thought he died. That is a natural assumption he had. After six months, he came back and met me. I was surprised. I looked at his feet, whether they're forward or backward. Actually, I was worried, <laughs> this fellow. <laughs> <laughs> and then that fellow said, I'm fine, I'm doing very well. I was pleasantly shocked to see that he recovered so well. Then I said, what do you do? He went back to Canada and he said, I took homeopathy and he got better. And even today, when there are some infections of the bone, etc., I'm not able to manage. I, t I tell them this example. I do not know that fellow has improved. It is a miracle for me. That means something is working there. So maybe you should try that. I keep telling those things. See. All the things work, but sometimes sending them too late, no treatment would work. But probably, the, uh, I like what uh, Rajesh Raghar said, is a complementary, when two things can work together, probably that system would work better. And this holistic approach, what our uh, um, uh, Sekharji is proposing, is probably the best solution in a country like this to maximally use our resources. Now, what I want to know is, for example, a lot of people with the diabetes, which is a rampant here, how do we manage the diabetes in the various systems? I want to know. Because sometimes I have seen a professor of mine, professor of medicine at Gutter Medical College, Dr. Satinan Murthy, he was a professor, he was a diabetic, professor of medicine, very knowledgeable man, and at some stage, he stopped using all allopathic medicines, he went to homeopathy, and after a few months, he died. And I was not sure those days what, whether yellow homeopathy is better than, he's a good man, he's a very knowledgeable man. People like this don't do things just like that. I just want to know, because there may be many diabetics, how do you manage with the various systems for the benefit of all the diabetics here? Are the people who have got their relatives? Sir, how do you manage diabetes? How do you monitor them? How many percentage of people come under control? Do you strongly advise this to your relation? Let's say in the family member, your treatment. Yeah. 
that was a good question sir thank you and you gave me an opportunity to project an important aspect of why whether there diabetes was not called as diabetes earlier but the name of diabetic mellitus speaks about sweet urine yeah, whatever whatever is the language when you, when you want to understand that it is a sweet urine ayurveda speaks about madhu meha madhu is honey and meha is urine so see the similarities thousands of years back they have named it as madhu meha and there are 20 varieties of diabetes there are 20 varieties of diabetes they have described among them diabetes is one diabetes mellitus is one which cannot be cured but it can be well managed and how they used to diagnose it is a very simple parameters because those days the clinically applicable parameters they used to float so gamanat sthanam a person who is walking he feels like staying at one place sthanat asanam when he was staying there he want he will he will find uh, an inclination to sit Sta sthanat asanam asanat sayanam so when he sit he will not be comfortable he, he feels like Sleeping. no lying down sayanam sayanat nidra so when when he lies immediately he will catch hold of a good quality of sleep we have seen many of our uh, when we watch uh, live news and other things we see lots of people they snore on the dais when they were taking you can just identify all these parameters more workable parameters i'm telling sir how we advise is not like uh, sugar levels as a parameter sir we take the quality of life as a parameter so not only the sugar actually ayurveda also becoming polluted like uh, uh, the other uh, 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 sort is also asking uh, under ayurveda there are a lot of things have come into the utility but we treat diabetes as diabetes the whole approach there are 10 important factors to attend from ayurveda so we use even sugars in treating that like honey added to water in a specific ratios like 25 grams of honey added to 100 grams of water in a specific way along with certain medications called Navaka Gugulu and other Nishamalaki it contains only two ingredients like uh, turmeric and uh, Amla Amalaki I mean uh, Usiri so in a specific ratios and this stimulates the pancreatic beta cell cell beta cells where it can if it is in a functional state it can secrete more like what other uh, oral hypoglycemic agents are doing like metformin you know metformin is one promising drug sir nims has taken up a study like uh, metformin as a standard drug and uh, trial drug is menthi podi menthol to chesina podi so it is equally like 500 mg of metformin and 1 gram of uh, menthol podi so they have conducted study on huge sample like 5000 uh, uh, clients and they found that it is equally effective like metformin is equally effective with the uh, methi chuna they have published this data like that we from ayurveda we have published n number of publications on that as sir rightly pointed out few publications may be just just like that but we treat that as a holistic parameter that patient's overall health level is improving and not only that his hypoglycemic levels are maintained properly and we can prevent the furtherance of the complications like macro and macro anginal complications and micro vascular complications like uh, losing limbs eye and kidneys we can we, we can definitely have a control and to show a few examples sir when patients commonly they go for a cataract surgery they found with hypertension and diabetes this is a diagnostic center like they, they don't check anywhere they just go there they check and they say you have this and have control come for the surgery so that is one area where they'll be diagnosed and where their sugar levels they'll be all they'll be they'll be already on insulins to a peak level but their sugar levels are not coming down that is called insulin resistance where patients cannot be taken for surgeries any sort of surgeries let it be cataract or any surgeries in such conditions we get few referrals i don't say all the cases are referred to us where we use vasintha kusumakar ras which is one promising drug made out of some precious metals uh, gold as a main ingredient and this 
along with nishamalik i told you we had few drugs where we control the patient's blood sugar levels from that day onwards to, to post surgical care so that we help the surgeons to perform the surgery and they come out of they, they they'll be on insulin i'm not telling that they are not on insulin but earlier insulin resistance will be there we we treat that particular rider and patient will be comfortable and non infective and he recover very fast so we do lot of research work sir even now one of our uh, kerala student uh, by name dr uh, krishna priya we have given a new concept actually is krutis we call we have not tried it uh, in south india we have not tried that sort of combination for the research in controlling the diabetes as such and preventing the diabetic complications from way through no, not not singly way through so we have started that uh, it is in the primitive stage first six months of work has uh, completed and we are not happy with the progress what we are seeing with that particular formulation but whereas we get students from other countries previously we get students from uh, nepal uh, even one student is here now because so uh, we have uh, conducted one study with uh, a specific combination which is very very promising so this we are trying to improve that so whatever is good we we put it for the practice we we see that in government hospitals patients are flooded so we cannot have enough time to how each case to be diagnosed with differently and formulate a separate formulation we keep some random formulations we try that if they are not responding then we take the case totally and then we go for dissecting the case reason everything and then we we uh, go for a specific drug for them so we have n number of drugs sir which are economic and uh, most of them are economic but few of them are very expensive sir like vasantha kusmakar ras it is one important and promising drug to correct all endocrine disorders not only this so from pituitary to thi thyroid thyroid to fallopians or testosterone any access if you say it, it can work with that with different permutations and combinations because you know uh, diabetes you, you, there is a organization called diabetomics an international organization where they analyze the body fluids for their uh, quality and uh, predictability so they have recently 10 15 years back they come out with the saliva they have analyzed and they could able to diagnose the type of diabetes a person is about to have in 12 to 15 years of the future span and that diabetes is whether it is targeting towards kidney or retina or neurons so that also they could able to analyze and usually if we see such researches we feel amazed but ayurveda starts telling the purva rupas i mean this is when it is going to onset the purupas will be there the premonitory symptoms will be there they start with danta dina maladyatvam pragrupam pani padayo danta dina danta sar dentures danta dina maladyatvam mala means you you know every day we brush twice because to remove the tartar and uh, other foul smelling agents which are coming into the mouth so if you brush once in the morning and wait up to 8 hours then again you are feeling a, a coated uh, dentures then your proneness towards diabetic to to becoming as a diabetes is increasing multifolded so you should be more cautious evaluated go for a proper management we focus more on digestive abilities metabolic disorders we call them as metabolic or lifestyle disorders where we alter their lifestyles because one particular area is very very important we advise uh, any any of us uh, uh, advise for diabetics to go for a brisk walk the same brisk walk cannot be advised for a congestive cardiac patient but unfortunately two people meet with the uh, common tracks on uh, kvr park like any common walking tracks and they walk together what will happen a diabetic patient will come back and cardiac patient will come back like this because you cannot walk like that exercise also should be designed how much of exercise load they can take and they should have a suggestion from the physician before going for the higher activities where higher activity is also dangerous that's the reason why we see lot of eminent people they are uh, collapsing in the gym areas where there is okay. very casualties available even nearby cause survival surviving the casualties you mean to say you manage diabetes without checking blood sugar levels like how we do fasting post prandial only by how patient feels is it no that is one parameter so we take blood sugars like uh -huh. fasting blood sugars post prandial well, hb avc also check okay. but few drugs why i mentioned that there are number of medicines coming into the market saying that this particular drug is capable of reducing the blood sugars from this to this 
but reducing from this to this is not the concept and treatment modality of ayurveda oh okay this is also one parameter but this is not only the parameter y y metals yeah we, we i told you wasanta kusuma karras yeah uh, we think everything whenever you come to the yeah mercury heavy metals what you call so there are lot of misnomers propagated the reason is different as uh, sir uh, in his speech pointed out the we are driven by certain press and media or something else right so i'll just quote one example i have used the similar medicines sir as any of your relatives or somebody if they become like that whether we can use this particular medication i have used it for my mother for more than 15 years and every 6 months we had checks because she was a copd patient since more than 55 years to support her with her immunity and other things monoclonal antibodies we have used sir for more than 1 year there was absolutely not fit then she is not improving then we have taken up uh, wasn't the kusma karras uh, administration with a specific indications and other things for 15 years i'm telling not one or two so the absolutely there were no parameters to say that uh, the kidneys or liver are affected yes definitely then why this particular nomer hemis nomer has come there are n number of companies where they don't manufacture the drugs as per the standards at they get license you know anything can happen everywhere so you need to be more cautious and when you are buying the medicine about the standard and long standing end endurance of the company then it will not be like that so otherwise definitely there are multiple side effects for uh, many things even i told you <laughs> even if you consume food sir, in excess that is a side effect you you will have I think, exercise uh, 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 sir you have given a very nice explanation one thing i have to tell you is in allopathy the treatment of diabetes actually improves quality of the life to some extent longevity but it is it doesn't yet prevent the complications of like heart attacks kidney failure eye problems totally yet there is a major problem but i'm glad to know that you said your system has a potential to prevent these problems now i want to know here from uh, naturopathy and uh, uh, homeopathy too how you manage this patient Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So actually, we we get lot lot many diabetic conditions, sir, in our institute. We, uh, like Ayurveda, we don't have medicine at all. We have only our diet and certain treatments, like water treatments, like as I told uh, just now, like tap baths and packs. We say it's like abdominal pack or chest pack, like that. so we have a liver pack it's called a liver pack where we will be having a hot uh, cloth here and then uh, simultaneously a cold cloth back side and we will wrap it with a dry cloth and we will keep it for uh, 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes it's it's the fundamental is to improve the peripheral circulation first first of all and to detox detoxify so when the toxins are coming outside like when it is uh, coming through eliminative channels automatically whole uh, system will get it uh, physiology in a right uh, this one so we have mud packs also like early in the morning we just give if it is not mud pack no mud, mud will not be available in everywhere even at homes we can have just a cold pack dip a towel in uh, wa water and then squeeze it and then just put uh, on our abdomen uh, after we go to our natural course if it is cold winter better to have a lukewarm water uh, uh, better to have a little hot uh, towel which is squeezed so that by the time we put here it will become neutral so the simple cold pack will make wonders in our naturopathy we don't have any medicine we advise only like pancha mahabhuta spot we say like uh, uh, space uh, sun and so sun sunlight is an energy again and then uh, water as we all know water and then pranayama uh, like uh, this one so we treat 
the concept of treating here is with Pancha Mahabhutas. So, so like yeah, this, yes, sir. And that. then, yes, sir. We we do guide them uh, with the diet, and most of the time, we first we take the case history, and then we go to his lifestyle and the food, uh, the food habits, everything, and then simple modifications and timings, and then the preparation of the food also. If if some person is willing to have non veg, we don't say that he he should not take non veg. But the preparation of non-veg and the time when he should take. So uh, that we will uh, advise, sir. So individually, we will uh, give a diet chart. And uh, even when they are uh, in our uh, center, uh, morning we give barley water and draggy malt at 7 o'clock. After that, they'll have early in the morning at 4, 4.30, they'll have these mud packs. It's a universal treatment for everybody to detoxify our uh, uh, gut or uh, stomach and then uh, we go for uh, uh, this liquids early in the morning and then uh, barley as we all know it uh, cleanses the kidneys and uh, to some extent and then uh, ragi is potential to have uh, a sugar levels in a right way and then after certain time uh, at eight eight o'clock then we give all these uh, naturopathy therapies sir as i told you liver pack uh, tub baths and uh, my, my Do you mean to say you give this to diabetics, hypertrophy, everyone the no, same no, no, treatment no, or it differs? Differs, differs. differs. In, in individual case it differs. Most of the time for diabetics we give this liver packs and all and uh, certain girdle pack will be there, sir. As we, in uh, olden days people used to tie a cloth and yeah. uh, dip in the uh, rivers. So the same thing even now we can do, it's a girdle pack. We, we can uh, just wrap a cold towel to... Uh, do, you, do you monitor them with the blood sugar levels? Yes, sir. And every week we will monitor with the blood sugar levels and we will also uh, give them the follow-up and then we will uh, advise them to seek their diabetologist okay. and then we will uh, uh, have the follow-ups. Uh, like okay, Raisarar. Sir told that uh, their prof his professor died maybe after treating homeopathy, but we don't know what exactly happened. Any treatment should be followed with investigations, proper repeated investigations. Then only we can assess the medicine. Actually, we do that. Even if we give medicine, depending upon necessity, every week or every two weeks, we should check the blood sugar levels. Unless it is controlled, it is not going to be effective. So in initial stages, we are able to control blood, blood sugar. But if it is very high level sugar, so, uh, generally, we are not able to. Any exceptions are there. Very few cases we can treat. But what I observed is, like that again, synergetic effect. The uh, Even though allopathic medicines, they are unable to control then this blood sugar is 300 FBS or 250 FBS. After starting our treatment, they are completely becoming normal without stopping allopathies. Same with both medicines simultaneously. We observed. Even I observed to, they are able to reduce the insulin dosage also. Be because in the, uh, it is not only the defective secretion, it may be the insulin resistance also is playing a big role. So the pathophysiology, we are not able to clearly tell, but they are effective. So, so it's interesting. We, any system, we it's cannot claim that all the one system yeah. cannot cure all the cases. <laughs> so every has limitations are there. Yeah. That I accept. So it's interesting that these are all probably complementary to each other, not a replacement to each other. I think that is the way we have to take them. I'm sure someone taking allopathy, the cost is going to come down when you come in with a naturopathy or homeopathy, or probably most of the time with Ayurveda. So this is something a take-home message would be. I'm sure it is the same with the hypertension too. Same with the hypertension too. Yes. Is it? But uh, yeah. diabetic polyneuropathy, very good results. Within three months, we are able to give, uh, give the relief burnings and all the polyneuritis symptoms. Within three months. See, these are news to me again. Lot of so times, one, one we second. cannot treat polyneuropathy. See, we, we do not have good drugs. In allopathy, people come with after 10, 15 years. We keep giving some drugs, but I don't see good results. So obviously, as uh, Shekharji's aim is to keep all these people together to practice as a team rather than an individual. I can say 80% so, success in So the problem in researches and studies is one thing that if we make a molecule 
molecule will be owned by allopathy and stamped as IP or USP, where any other system cannot use it. You see, ephedrine came from a plant, where ephedrine is not permitted to be used by Ayurvedic or Royce fraternity. You know, digoxin has come from a plant extract. So lots of things we are ready to develop. We, we have done, sir, even herbal nebulizations we have brought out to give the bronchodilatations and expectorations, all these things. So we are not, I don't say that we are on par with the total framework. We have initiated and we are finding good lines. Why we are not taking it forward is, once we give a molecule to the society, that will be owned by other uh, system and the same system you cannot practice outside, like reserpine. You know, Sarpaganda is a plant from uh, plant resource. When a colonel working in China, one war border, he, there were, uh, they were using elephants to threaten the other line of uh, other sort of enemies. So they were suddenly becoming aggressive and killing the uh, Indian uh, army. Then this colonel was looking uh, for a remedy for that because not because of the enemies and because of the native elephants, the death rate is more. Then he caught hold of somebody and he told that I can manage this. And he came and he was giving some herbal, uh, like we call it as kalkam, drug muddha jaisi vadam. So he was feeding it to the elephant and the elephants are coming quite calm down. And then he pick up all, picked up all the drugs, he, gave, he came out and established a company. And now, uh, you know, Himalaya is backed up with uh, such a sort of thought process and Reserpin and Sarpaganda has first emerged into the market. Then this is Raul Fia Serpentina. So Reserpin has evolved as a molecule. Reserpin cannot be used by any other system. It is mother system is this one, which contributes. But you have, it is, once it is added to the IP, you cannot use it. Indian pharmacopoeia. But I thought in the present government they are making modifications. Modifications. That's right. the reason why we are coming out with researchers now. Okay. Yes, sir. Maybe we should take some yeah, questions. Sir. In the Irish system, we need much uh, research and development, this one, sir. Because certain areas, we are unable to scientifically present uh, certain things, though we know, but uh, it should be uh, scientific yeah, for this unless one. Unless you take a common endpoint, yeah. this is the way, sugar, sugar. 100. 160. Now, which drug, which medicine, yeah. probably Ayurveda, allopathy, which one is able to control it faster, persistently, and probably preventing complications. Something like that, you take it with the common end goal and do studies, yes, sir. then probably it would help us, are complementary yes, together. Yes, sir. As complementary, we have taken up one study sponsored by government of Telangana, sir, for mucormycosis. You know, black fungus yeah, was killing... Yeah, uh, it will not give even blinking time to lose the organ. Evening patient comes with a sunken eye, morning he will lose the eye. And if you don't treat him properly, jaw will be lost. You know, uh, the yeah. progress of the disease is very fast, where recovering such organs is not small, a small thing. In such emergency, in a such emergency condition, when we were, I was a principal by that time, sir, we have proposed, uh, Chief Minister, uh, our present Chief Minister was uh, Health Minister, in charge Health Minister. And Somesh Kumar, sir, the Chief Secretary, was monitoring the total department. We could able to raise a formulation within 20 minutes. They have given us 20 minutes to raise a formulation. Within 20 minutes, we could able to raise. Uh, Lingaraj, sir, uh, additional director uh, from homeopathy was here. He knows about the entire incident. Within, within no time, we could able to raise the formulation. And uh, they have sanctioned 10 lakhs after uh, four or five months. Before that, we have started the project in three days. And we have published it to internationally reputed journals, the PubMed Index and uh, uh, Scopus Index journals, we have published two articles. One, Gandhi, we have identified as severe to very severe cases. We have given medication only for seven days. Once patients started using the medicine for seven days, we could able to protect lots of organs, and this is published data. I'll send you the copies also. Where in e government ENT hospital, mild to moderate cases were taken by a second team. All our postgraduates should be uh, appreciated for that, sir. During that sort of pandemic, and do that too, for a disease like mucormycosis, they have entered into all ICUs without much protective gearing and other things. They could able to render services. I, I, I appreciate all my postgraduate teams who have worked for that actually. So mild to moderate, we have given some specialized treatments, modifying be beyond uh, the research protocol, we have added some more treatments during the advancement of the disease. 
we we could able to significantly see the changes sir i'll send you the research uh, data uh, we have published into jiim where it is an integrated study first of its con uh, its kind of study in the country to have a uh, uh, proved remedy for uh, my mucor mycosis in whole india and telangana is the first state and it is first funded project sir thank you sir so we must be really proud of your uh, research and uh, uh, you could my say says and black fungus what you did it friends uh, now lot many uh, questions are there i would love to have <coughs> those questions but here because of constraint of time just allow me to uh, uh, go to the next step and maybe during the dinner break you can ask the doctors that is number 1 and number 2 you can pose the question to the federation and we will take it forward so uh, uh, my, my case is a, an example for people who will just believe one question to only one okay question. Okay. Sir, sit down, sit down, sit down. No, no problem. Sir, I never used to believe in medicine. I played games in the morning, uh, in childhood. I, I, I was affected with uh, sugar and BP in 1998. The sugar, sugar level has gone to 300 and all. After pandemic, uh, I'm a karma, my sugar level has gone down to 50. 50. I used... To, uh, he, he, I used to take 32 units in the morning, 24 units in the evening. Now I am taking only 12 units. But I used to say, willpower is important. Willpower is not really helps us. Now I'm, I'm under the care of five doctors. Number one, I had taken angiogram. And no, no, it is useful, angiogram. And one doctor said, yeah, I have to be operated. The remaining doctors, I never operated. Then I went to pulmonologist. Pulmonologist, I have taken care of that. Then I have taken, I you know, not Alzheimer's. What is the second one? Parkinson. Huh? Parkinson. A Parkinson. A Parkinson. My mother got Parkinson. I have gone there. Parkinson is not there. But I am unable to control the uh, system. Then I went to urology because all, all the time I used to get for a bit one year or now I can't go anywhere. But you know, recently, for four days, I'm driving the car, I'm getting Josh. Yeah. Three days before, I made a very big accident. I used to drive, I made a very big accident. Car is not there at my disposal. So, health is important. Are you accepting? Uh, question, this is the question. No, no, one minute, sir. For sugar, there are precautions are there. If you get this one, if you get this one, if you get this one, you have to go. Every day I monitor my sugar. Every day morning and evening I, I monitor my sugar. So prevention is better than cure. But you know, the fellow, I never used to see any health, health videos. I used to see thousands of videos. But now I have realized that our health is important. Anything. Thank, thank you, Sanya Sir. So the message of Sanya Sir is prevention. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, now we have also got the principal of the uh, uh, government homeopathy uh, college, uh, Ramlinga Raju Garu. He, he was actually, he was in uh, uh, Bhopal ka, in examination and all the way he came here. Sir, th thank you very much. You can please kindly join here for a... For a for, for, uh, just uh, we'll be, we are concluding, for, at least for conclusion you come. So, Lingaraju Garu, please. Sorry. Can so, uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, our senior vice president, Jadeju. Uh, okay. Uh, so, la 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 last one. Oh, yeah. Take this for any of the teachers. I would like to ask all the doctors here. Why don't you say you take this so that you don't get this? Yeah, yeah. Food. Right. So food. Food or medicine or anything. It's an individual aspect, sir. That's the reason uh, we have to sit with doctor, uh, talk about your uh, 
culture or food eating habits and then get it modified and then follow it at least for six months then uh, we will get the result it's not overnight uh, magic but di dietitian will not uh, see the diet is one minute sir the diet is not based on the calories never we should think about calories to our body the diet is the principle is biological value of the food how fresh we are taking and how uh, good it is the quantity so the biological value means like in olden days our mothers used to pinch bendake like this and see so that that is what we have to and then uh, the food cooked should be taken within three hours of the cook cook cooked time so no refrigerator and no microwave right. no, so this can. is what some, some industrialists <laughs> may not like it <laughs> but thank anyway you, you. sir you know one sentence if we want to know what to take take food like medicine otherwise you have to take medicine as food very good very good wonder uh, 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 we like to share something will you like Okay, sir. So, uh, now, uh, actually, we uh, uh, we got a lot of things to discuss, but uh, time is a thing. So now, over to for the conclusion to uh, Dr. Subodh, administrator of college. Uh, like, like to conclude from there. Uh, thank you, Shagarji. I know it's quite late, uh, but I would like to. What a wonderful panel it was! Uh, which is round of applause to all of them, because it's not. Because it's not always easy to have all the allopathy, Ayurveda, Unani, homeopathy, naturopathy all together. They all work in silos usually. And the first time I could understand the type of questions being asked. I think we discussed only diabetes. I think if you open up the multiple other disciplines, this go session is going to increase. So I think that's the number one point I thought was thanks to, I think, FTCC to bringing up a very important thing because ultimately, post-COVID, we understood that we should not be working in silos, but we should look at a complementary approach. So that's the first point. Uh, the second point, I think, thanks to Gogliji for this wonderful presentation on the healthy heart. It's not now the elderly who are affected by heart, it's the younger generation. So what we should be uh, taking care of. And, uh, and he repeatedly focused on the preventive aspect. The treatments can be there, the robotics can be there, but it's about the preventive, which is very, very important. I think he has highlighted that very nicely, the lifestyle. And very happy to see some of the important points like the mental health, the stress levels, I think this health insurance, I think very, very newer topics which are coming up. Thanks for bringing that up. And last but not the least, I just want to, because I think uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Karina Vakati was here before. Telangana is doing extremely well. Uh, I'm sure that uh, uh, if, you, if I was in Kerala last week and they were telling Telangana state is one of the state which is now focusing on quality, the maximum number of quality public health is coming from Telangana. Like every PHC is going to get uh, uh, quality accredited. So that's going to be the next big thing in Telangana. So I'm sure they may even overtake some of the other states like Maharashtra very soon. Last but not the least, uh, as Dr. Bakchi, our Director General said, ASCII and FTC has been a wonderful collaboration which we had and ultimately our aim, I think, under the guidance of Shegarji has been to get, uh, you know, a sort of an universal health care for all in Telangana, for all the four crore citizens and uh, we are happy to collaborate and such activities and movements will help us in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Subhaji. Uh, very good conclusion. Now we go to the uh, green certificate. Okay. Thanks to all. Um, now I request our uh, president. You can uh, call V.S. Raju Garu first. Call V.S. Raju. Uh, we are called V.S. Raju. Uh, V.S. Raju, sir, past president. Bhaskar immediate Eddie. past president, Mr. Bhaskar Eddy, sir, to felicitate. A. Shrivas Garu. Felicitate with a shawl to Dr. Padma Shri, Dr. A.J.K. Gokhale, sir. Raju Garu, come. You don't come. Sir, we are joining Srinivas Ayadevara, sir. Sri Srinivas Ayadevara, sir. Please come join. And uh, President Ra Ravi Kumar, sir, Narayan Reddy, sir. Our MC members, past presidents. Come on, please join. All please join. Raki. Madam, please join. Raki, madam. Sir, please join. Vikram Daga, sir. Prem Chand Kankariya, sir. All our MC members and past presidents, please come. Sir, you can.
Now I request Mr. Mila Jaydev, uh, Senior Vice President, to present the green certificates to other, our uh, dignitaries on the dais. Do Dr. Bhavani, Bhavani Haan, Superintendent, Na Nature Cure Hospitals. Dr. Lingaraju, Principal, Government Homeopathy College. Dr. Srikant Babu, Professor, Government Ayurvedic College. And uh, Dr. Supod Kandamutan, Head Healthcare from ASKI. Thank you, sir. Now I request Mila Jaydo to propose a vote of thanks. I thank you very much. Normally, in cinema, there is an interval in two hours. But there is an interval in the doctor. There is an interval in the three hours. There is an interval in the three hours. There is an interval in the four different different doctors. So, thank you very much, Dr. Saal. इकड़ हाजिर है ना प्रमुख लंदर के कुलतक्या तलो पद्मश्री डॉक्टर एक गोयलगार के प्रक्यात कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट सर्जन गोकले इस अंदर पर हम पुरस्कार इंचुकरे अवार्ड विजय तलो मारियो नामजेल पहुंचाई इंचुकरे हम प्रभुत्व सोपाने इंचुकरे डॉक्टर भवानी गार के देन कुछ अध्ययन तलब चुनाव नो नेचर के राष्ट्र पटल 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 नेचर के राष्ट्र Dr. Lingaraju, Principal Government of Homeopathy, Dr. Srikant Babu, Professor Head and Maji Principal Government of Ayurveda Kalashala, Committee of Kani Karakramala, Var Balamena Madhat Kosam Nenu, Convener Kota, Salaha Darlu, Mar Healthcare Committee of Sabilek, Managing Committee, Mariu, Na Sahao Chogalaki, Gaurani Lena Maji Adjekshilu Palguna Varki, Ye Gopa Sahindra Mata Unanduko, Anit Kanta event Vijayantanga Airport Jeshnama, staff Mata Mandarki, now Hudai Purok Subakakshalo, and thank you very much and join for the dinner. Special thanks to Vishala and team.